wealth, yoga, wine. Welcome to my podcast, Valerie Hale. Give. Yes. Many of us think that in order to forgive someone for their betrayal, their unskilled behavior, is to absolve the whole matter. How many of us hold grudges or you have held a grudge and it just festers inside of you? One of the reasons we don't forgive is because I think many of us believe that we're letting someone off the hook or making what they did to us is okay. This is not what forgiveness is about. Forgiveness is a matter of perception, but it also instills power in us. One way that Mary Morrissey suggests to move into forgiveness from holding a grudge or feeling betrayed is to separate this unskilled behavior from the person. We don't want that behavior in our lives. We didn't ask for it. And at the end of the day, we're probably not going to want that person in our lives either. But it's important to send that person forgiveness. One thing that I do, and I know this is difficult, but I practice it every day, when there is someone around you or in your life and they have betrayed you, while you are separating the behavior, the unskilled behavior from the person, also send them blessings. It sounds like this. I send you peace. I send you blessings. That feels very empowering. You feel so much better. In the past, and occasionally, I still do this, the thought of them might come to me or I might see them and I'm somewhere where I can slyly give them the Bronx salute. If you don't know what that is, it's an obscene gesture with one of your fingers. <laughs> I really try not to do that. I lived in New York for 29 years. It was very easy to simply resort to that kind of unskilled behavior. And now when I see people or I think of a situation where I feel betrayed, I seriously say in my mind, I send you blessings. I wish you peace. It does feel a lot better because if you keep on with this toxic behavior, you become the victim. They don't. There's no power in being a victim. So to reiterate, separate the person from the unskilled behavior. Even if you are the one that has exhibited unskilled behavior, send it away. Forgive yourself. That's what it is. Mary talks about forgiveness is actually a gift that you are giving to yourself. It's another way to perceive a situation that empowers you and keeps you from victimhood. One of my kundalini yoga teachers said to us, you may have one, but you don't need to be one. If you don't get that, go to my website, shayvalerie.us. All this information, you can reach me through my website, ask more questions, or tap into Mary Morrissey's free master class as Bob Proctor has a free master class. My yoga teacher, with whom I study virtually, Harpa Kash, one of the things I have learned over the 26 years of studying this yoga, I have never studied any other yoga, I am a yoga snob. One of the things they teach women is that we do have a tendency to hold anger right in our breast. Area. And therefore, there are specific exercises you can do to either eliminate or control or prevent breast cancer. If you send me an email, I'm more than happy to send you the specific Kriyas. And when you click on Har Prakash, you go to her website and you can sign up for her classes. You can also send her an email and she'll teach you Kriyas that will help you prevent breast cancer. Anger stays with us for a long time, and it's important that you control it. I have mentioned in past podcasts that one way you can control anger, these grudges, is a specific kriya. 
you put your hands in fist, you put your thumbs on the outside, and you make vigorous backward movements with those fists going back over your head. You breathe in and out through your mouth very strongly as though you're blowing out a candle. You need to do this for three minutes, but if it's too much, do it for at least a minute and a half. Once you've done that, interlock your arms, pull them over your head, and do a cannon breath. You take that strong breath that you've been breathing in and out through your mouth and push it out three times separately and make a cannon sound with your breath. It's a strong breath. Again, if you need help, reach out to me at my website, shayvalerie.us. I'm here to help. Port. I have been talking about ports for a few weeks now. And I love to make, I love to grill. I am always at the grill. I live on a bay. The grill is outside overlooking beautiful Boca Ciega Bay. And and I'm there when it comes to cooking. I call them drunken mushrooms. I actually need to get a couple of pounds when I'm making drunken mushrooms because I eat a lot of them when I'm grilling. You just do salt, pepper, olive oil. You keep it really simple. Don't do garlic. Don't do onions because the king of this recipe is going to be the port. You can use, so once you once you've really have roasted them to all very well done, really, you're going to pour mm, about a quarter of a cup, maybe half a cup of one of the ports. I would use tawny or the ruby. The LBV you can certainly use, but that's only if you're having company. (laughs) Pour that on the mushrooms when they have finished sautéing at a high degree or else on the grill, and they're very, very brown. Step away from it because when you pour alcohol into a dish, it does have a tendency to steam, and you'll get a really beautiful mushroom facial. Just let the rest, let them, let the drunken mushrooms uh, soak up all that good other aspect I wanted to mention cocktails with tawny or else ruby. Tawny because it has a nutty flavor would go really well with a ginger beer and a splash of fresh orange. Not orange juice folks, uh, fresh oranges. The ruby because it is a little on the fruitier side I would use plain seltzer and I would use either a lemon or a lime. To wrap this up, forgive. You're giving yourself a gift for give to me. <laughs> think of that. Every day, just think of forgiving. Forget the grudges, folks. They're too toxic. You don't want to be a victim. Kundalini Yoga has so many answers for the, these life forces that we're experiencing, especially now. If you combine Kundalini Yoga with Mary Morrissey's teachings or Bob Proctor's teachings, you are on your way to another orbit that is highly successful, the life you want. Go to my website. It's under wealth. And of course, those beautiful recipes for drunken mushrooms, and now you have two ideas for cocktails. I do this podcast to help hundreds of people enhance their life. I'm not a life coach, and I'm not a consultant. When you go to my website, it's all about self-help. Merci. Au revoir.